Hey, what's up guys? Despite the high Ethereum price, ETH can still be drastically undervalued. In this video, I will explain why this is the case, then we'll take a look how you can become Ethereum millionaire in this cycle. Listen up, you already invest in crypto. Why aren't you investing in tax-free crypto? I trust Capital is the only provider that allows you to invest in crypto assets within your retirement account. They allow you to not only buy Bitcoin, but Ethereum, Ripple, and many others. They even have Chainlink coming very soon. It's designed for beginners and experts alike. They give you 24-7 trading access and even have built-in institutional grade secure storage. You do not need to worry about creating private keys. If you open an iTrust Capital Roth IRA, it allows you to buy Bitcoin now and when asset grows over the next few years, you keep all the profit for yourself, no taxes. If you want to learn more, head to itrustcapital.com and request a free insider guide now. This will teach you all about crypto retirement accounts and how you can invest tax-free. Link to iTrust Capital is in the description box below. Let's start by checking cryptocurrency market at the coin market cap. The entire cryptocurrency market took a big hit since yesterday. Bitcoin is down by more than 5% in the past 24 hours. It dropped from the new all-time high of $61,000 to the current price of around $57,000 as of the time of this recording. Ethereum also took a hit. It dropped by 4.2% to the current price of around $1,800. So we can clearly see that the market is in red today. In my opinion, it's nothing to worry about, it's just a normal day-to-day -day volatility. But primarily, let's focus on Ethereum and how you can become Ethereum millionaire. Here is the cool chart that proves that Ethereum already made decent gains for millions of people around the world. Currently, there are more than 55 million ETH addresses that are in profit. And just to give you perspective, exactly last year, 365 days ago, there was only 200,000 ETH addresses that were in profit. So that would be 27 times more addresses are currently in profit than it was back in March 2020. Here is another cool chart. It shows that Ethereum number of addresses holding 0.01 ETH just reached a new all-time high. More than 13 million addresses holding 0.01 ETH, that would be at least $18 as of the time of this recording. Yes, it doesn't seem like a lot of money, but this is at least $18, and it can go up into millions of millions of dollars. Even though Ethereum may seem to be relatively high comparing to its recent historic price, but some fundamental metrics show that Ethereum could be undervalued. Usually, in traditional financial market, investors evaluate stocks by looking at the price to sale ratio, price to revenue, and even price to earnings. Since Ethereum is a revenue generating machine for its validators, we can look at the Ethereum network in a very similar way. This chart represents Ethereum price to sale ratio. The price to sale ratio compares protocol's market cap to its revenue. A low ratio could imply that protocol is undervalued and vice versa. As we can see that in first few years Ethereum price to sale ratio was very high, around 5000. What it means is that for every $5,000 invested in Ethereum, ETH will generate only $1 of sale. And since then Ethereum improved and currently in transition from proof of work to proof of stake, and sales drastically increased and therefore price to sale ratio drastically declined. And therefore, current ETH price to sale ratio is at around 20, which means for every $20 invested, ETH will generate $1 of sale. So Ethereum network became 250 times more profitable than it was back in 2016 and 2017. This could also mean that Ethereum is drastically undervalued. Okay, okay, Ethereum could be undervalued, but how can I become Ethereum millionaire? Well, if you have at least 555 ETH, you're already an Ethereum millionaire. But most of the people don't have that much ETH, I get it. That's why let's examine the fact that if it is still possible to become Ethereum millionaire in the near future. Well, to answer that question, let's take a look how Ethereum performed in the past bull market. In 2017 bull market, Ethereum increased from $5 all the way till $1,400. So that would be 280x ROI. It outperformed Bitcoin by far, which made only 30x in the same time frame. Then of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum went into the bear market. Ethereum lost nearly 95% of its value and created an excellent buying opportunity. 
Many investors believe that, including the CEO of Real Vision, Raul Paul, that Ethereum might reach $20,000 per coin in this market. This is very possible. Last year, Ethereum found its bottom at around $80 a coin when coronavirus slashed the economy in half. If ETH is targeting $20,000 in this cycle, that would be 250x ROI. Very similar what it generated in the first bull market. So far, since the March of 2020, ETH already generated 22x. If ETH would be $20,000 by the end of this cycle, then it means that ETH would have to generate additional 11x from this current price. If Ethereum is $20,000, it means that you need 50 ETH to become Ethereum Millionaire. Which means, right now you would have to invest $90,000. However, if you were clever enough and you bought ETH at $80 back in March of last year, you would need only $4,000 as an initial investment to potentially become Ethereum Millionaire. $4,000 to 1 million? What can be better than that? Now, Let's take a closer look where Raul Paul explains why he thinks Ethereum might reach $20,000 by the end of the cycle. Then he will also explain why 98% of his portfolio is in crypto. Let's take a look. Now, you, you briefly mentioned there you're, you're looking at Ethereum. You were weighted 80-20 BTC to Ethereum. And are you expecting that to change in 2021? Yeah, um, I'm hoping to add to Ethereum um, soon. Um, and I will probably continue to add to that because if I look at the chart of Ethereum versus Bitcoin, it looks like it's basing. Usually, it's, Ethereum is also very much following the 2017 Bitcoin cycle, both in price, in number of wallet addresses, in market cap. I mean, it's identical. It's, it's kind of spooky, mm. which tells you this is being driven by Metcalfe's law and adoption effects than almost anything else. So if that's the case, then we know Ethereum has a decent chance of getting to 20,000. That, that's, that's a value proposition. Even with Bitcoin going to 200,000 to 300,000, one's 8x, one's 16x from here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now you said hoping to add soon. So walk me through your decision-making process there, if you could. Uh, no decision. It's cash. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all in, right? As soon as I get some extra cash, I'll put it in. Got it, got it, got it. So, okay. You know, that's how, I, that's how I'm dealing with this is, you know, and I'm hoping I get a dip, but if not, I'll still buy it because I'm not worried about the 50% correction. Okay. Okay. And Okay. Very cool. Now, okay. I want to pivot a little bit. So, just, to, just to clear, why am I not worried about the 50% correction? I've got no leverage in the trade. Yeah. I know what I'm, I can stand to lose. Yes. You know, it's not... I'm an all in. This is my whole life is riding on this. It's not. Yeah. This is a very significant bet for me, but taken from a calculated risk perspective. Okay. So then I just have to ask, you know, and I'm sure you've answered this question a hundred times, so I apologize, but uh, based on that outlook and um, then, then why, why 98% into crypto? Why not have some, I know you've got global macro exposure to gold, but is it just because of the asymmetry that you see in the Bitcoin bets or Oh, yes, why? Okay, time horizon matters. Okay. So my crypto bet is the next 12 months. I see. My crypto bet is that it's going to destroy every other asset on earth performance-wise. And it's going to suck everybody in on a massive reflexive loop. Yes. The more the market cap goes up, the more the institutions need to buy it because they need to not lag behind the institutions that already bought it. The more it goes up, the more retail buy it becomes a very reflexive loop. Yes. So that is... Too powerful. I look at the charts of Bitcoin versus every asset, and it's basically eating them all. So that will play out. And as you've said before, we know how these things end. They end up in a bear market for a while. That's normal. It's just human behavior. It's how markets work. No, no market goes through a big bull phase or a big bear phase without a massive reversal phase for a while. Yes. So what I'm trying to do is set up a time horizon for people to understand is, okay, this is my bet for now. Yes. You may not like the crypto bet. So start looking at the emerging market bet. But I still think there's six months risk window here that I wouldn't do the trade. Okay. So I'm okay. Six months risk. Yeah. Because of that liquidation like, event, right? Crypto may or may not have a correction that it should do, but just an ordinary correction and then it should explode. Okay. Emerging markets, if you can buy them into a sell off, fantastic. That will set you up. You can go to the beach and forget about it. Yes. Got it. Then as that trend reestablishes and it starts proving itself, you go further out into the risk curve. So you start going into India and you start going into other markets. Um, gold should get taken along most of that ride too. So there's a whole phasing here. So 
you know, I know people get confused, but I see things in future expected probabilities and yeah. there's a path to get there. The path isn't everything all in now. It's like, this is the phase for crypto. We're at a risk phase for markets. That risk phase for markets will set us up for emerging markets because the dollar may go up first. Then let's say the dollar stabilizes or weakens. Emerging markets will take off. It will start sucking in equity market capital um, out of the US system. Raul Paul clearly said that he's looking to buy more Ethereum as soon as he finds spare cash under his mattress. Because he believes Ethereum's following Bitcoin's 2017 bull market. If that's the case, we are likely to see $20,000 ETH by the end of this cycle. Let me know what do you guys think. Will we see Ethereum at $20,000 by the end of this cycle? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, smash that like button and subscribe for more videos.